Now that we know what inflation is, how it's measured and the cost of inflation, let's look at the causes. Well, there are two main causes of inflation. They are cost-push inflation and demand-pull inflation. To explain the difference, we'll make use of our aggregate demand and supply tools. Well, as the name implies, cost-push inflation occurs when there are sustained or continuous increases in any of the costs of production. Remember the four factors of production – land, labour, capital and entrepreneurship. These are factors that affect supply. If, for example, trade union pressure forces an increase in wages, this pushes up production costs. Similarly, if the oil price jumps, it pushes up the cost of transporting goods. And sooner or later, this is passed on to the consumer. The following aggregate demand and aggregate supply curves show that the economy is in equilibrium at point E1. Any increase in the cost of production will shift the supply curve up and to the left as it becomes more expensive to produce. And as we can see, this pushes the equilibrium position to E2. The general price level has jumped from P1 to P2 and income and output have fallen from Y1 to Y2. And demand pull inflation, on the other hand, occurs when the aggregate demand for goods and services increases. Think back. Which factors caused an increase in aggregate demand? Well, any of the following pull demand upwards. An increase in consumption expenditure, investment expenditure, government expenditure and exports. Any one of these factors can cause demand pull inflation. First, there's a shift of the aggregate demand curve up and to the right. On an upward sloping supply curve, any increase in aggregate demand will result in inflation. But income also rises, keeping in touch with inflation. Up to a point, that is. If the economy reaches capacity, where there's nearly full employment, it physically cannot produce any more. So output and income stop rising, but demand still climbs pulling prices higher still. The fighting inflation is a challenging and complex business, but understanding what inflation is, how it affects the economy, and finding ways to control it are fundamental tasks for any government, often requiring them to make difficult and unpopular policy decisions.